Hello, Laura. Good afternoon. <laughs> ah, you are here. Okay, that's great. How are, how are you? <laughs> I'm great. Okay, good to hear. What time did you wake up today? What? What time did you wake up today? Mm, I don't know. You don't know. <laughs> did you have online class this morning? Yes. Yes, Both at what time? morning and afternoon. Ah, you're full. Okay, how many hours do you have classes? Three. Three hours? Ah, not too much. Okay, it's good. <laughs> not too much, it's okay. Okay, so Laura, today we will have a speaking test with you. So, is it your first speaking test? Yes. Yes, okay. So, it's so easy, like, it's not like test or exam something. We will just talk, as always. So we have three parts. In the first part, you will uh, talk about yourself. In the second part, we will talk about your story ending. And the third part, you will talk about some questions. It's easy, so don't worry. Okay, if you are ready, I will share my screen with you. Yes. And here, uh, you will tell me about yourself. So you have 30 seconds to think okay you can just think about yourself and after that we will start and you will have two to three minutes uh, to talk so you can talk about yourself your family dream job your city country and everything okay 30 seconds started you can just think <laughs> Okay, so now if you are ready, we can start. Yes, Laura, tell me about yourself. Hi, my name is Ha, and my English name is Laura. I'm 12 years old. Um, I'm from Vietnam. I'm a student at Chuvan An Secondary School. I live in Taiwan. It is a beautiful city with um, nice weather. My city is famous for its green tea. The local people are friendly and nice. I love them really much. And I like playing game, playing sports, and drawing pictures. I think they are really interesting and they make me feel comfortable. And I hate watching TV because um, I don't have time to watch it, and it is not good for my eyes. Um, wait me. <laughs> I learned how to draw for two years, so I think I can draw beautifully. Um, in the future, I want to be an architect because I can draw many houses and get the high salary. And I think I can do charity for the poor people. It, it's a good thing. Um, my family has four people. My dad, my mom, my brother, and me. My dad is a worker. My mom is an officer. And my, and I, and my brother is a student. Um, my family always have a holiday together, eat the meals together, and we do many things together. It's a happy thing to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, okay, it's great. So I know a lot of things about you now. Okay, so you like drawing? Actually, I told you before, my cousin is also architect, and he likes drawing, he is really good at drawing. And it's really good job, like he always works on computer at home, and it's really fun. He makes like he draws beautiful houses. So I think it's a good job. Beat your job. Yes. <laughs> so, okay. Very good, Laura. Let's go on with the second part. Here, if you remember, we read about um, 
the story of uh, Treasure Island from our book. So I summarize the first page for you, then you will continue. But let me read first. Billy Bones, an old sailor, died at the hotel. He said about the box to Jim Hawkins. Jim opened the box and found the treasure map. Jim, the Skyer, Dr. Lisi, Long John Silver, and his friends sailed away to the treasure island. One day, Jim heard what John Silver said to his friends. They were talking about stealing the treasure and the ship. Jim told his plan to the doctor and the squire. They arrived on the island. Now you will finish this story. If you are ready, we can start. My ending. Long John Silver told me an idea that he will steal the sheep and share the treasure with me if I help him. Mm, I, pre I knew he told lies, so I pretended to agree. At midnight, we stole the sheep, but he didn't know that. I told all his plan to the squire and Dr. Lipsy's. Uh, so they hid in the sheep. After that, when I watched the moon, he began to be close, and then he pushed me. He didn't care because he think I died so he can kept all the treasure. Um, but I didn't die. I swam to a new island. After that, there was a big storm and Long John Silver kept all his treasure and he fell down, uh, uh, he fell down the sheep um, with the treasure. So we lost all of it. The squire and Dr. Lipsy were okay. They had a small boat and they tried to find me. Finally, they found me on the island. Mm, they said that that island called Crystal Island. Mm, we lost all the treasure, but we can find many gem, mm, diamond, and gold here. It was a surprise to me. We got some of it and we went back home. It is an interesting trip. And and I won't forget it. Thank you for listening. Oh. Wow, okay. I told you before, I think your story ending is one of my favorites. So I really like it. It's so like happy ending. Also, it's interesting in the first place. I really like it. Okay. So let's see who will going to win the competition. <laughs> Okay, now let's go on with some questions. We have five questions here, Laura. You will choose two of them and you will talk about it. Um, here, choose two, and maybe I can show this one. First, introduction, reason one, reason two, and wrap up. And you're supposed to use these phrases that we have studied before. Okay, so which one do you want to start with? Two questions. Two questions, yeah. I think one and three. One and three. So do you want to start with number one? Yes. Is it okay? Okay. Okay. So what job do you think deserves the highest salary? If you are ready, we can start. Mm, my name is Lara. I'm from Star mm. One. And in my opinion, I think that the doctor and surgeon is... Mm, they deserve to get the high salary because um, firstly, uh, this job is really difficult and dangerous. Secondly, uh, when they do something wrong, the, the patient will be die or when they do the surgery, they have to use many small tools or many things else to help the patient. It is really difficult for them, and I think it's. Um, and, and when they do something great, it they will be a hero. It's really good. Okay, that's great. So nice. So you. Th mm -hmm. I think that um, they are the best job in the world and they should get the highest salary okay wow okay so i will tell the president to pay 
the highest salary to the doctors, to surgeons. <laughs> okay, it's great. I think I agree with you. It's really hard job. Like they have to be really careful and like it's really sensitive job. If they do something bad, they can just like uh, lose the patient. So it's really important. Okay, that's cool. And you said number three, right? Should celebrities' privacy be protected? Okay, let's go on with this one. If you are ready, we can start. In my opinion, I think that we protect because, firstly, I think they if they if we don't protect their privacy, it will make them feel uncomfortable. They have their life and we should protect their privacy so they can live a happy life with their family. Um, secondly, many paparazzi and the reporters get some of the pictures and videos about their privacies and they post in the Sakyo network and many people in the world know about it. And when they see that, they will feel both angry and sad. Mm, I think this is not a good choice. In conclusion, I think the reporters should write good news about them so they can be more famous, but they shouldn't put, put very bad news because celebrities will be sad. Celebrities are person, are people too. Uh -huh, yeah, they are people too, so we should protect their privacy of course of course i agree with you okay it was great and now let's go on with the last part now laura you will read this one one time and i will ask you some questions after that okay you can start if you are ready you can read it aloud yeah to can you read it for me uh, a visit to the coliseum a visit to the Colosseum. Have you ever wondered what life was like in ancient Rome? A visit to the Colosseum is a wonderful way to find out something about life in Roman times. I visited Colosseum on a cold morning last February. I could smell fresh bread from the bakeries as, walk, as I walked through the noisy streets. Suddenly, I saw the Colosseum in front of me. Sadly, the Colosseum is in ruins now. The stone seats have gone and the floor has gone too. But, but I imagined that, but I imagined excited Romans sitting in their seats and watching a fantastic show. I explained the rooms under the Colosseum where the Romans kept things for the shows. I felt scared, but the room was because the rooms were small and dark. As I was leaving, I saw a man wearing a Roman costume. Come back soon, he said. I hope I will visit the Colosseum again soon. It's an amazing place. Okay, perfect. So the first question is, Laura, What's the best way to learn about life in Roman times, ancient Roman times? Let me think. Mm -hmm. I think that a visit to the Colosseum is the wonderful way to find out something about life in Roman times. Of course, very good. And the second question is, what was the Colosseum for? Or we can say, why did they use the Colosseum? What did they do there? Is it a supermarket or what? I have to think. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. 
Okay, no problem. So actually, you know, I will give you a clue and you will figure it out. Here, it's a little bit, I ask in a hard way. Here, you can see the answer somewhere here. So why did they use this Colosseum? Is it like a supermarket, hospital, or did they have fun? What did they do here? Mm, this is where the Romans kept things for the shows. Yes, exactly. It's for shows. It's like a theater in ancient Rome or Italy. So they had this kind of theaters and they have some fantastic shows like dance shows or theaters and many things. Okay, perfect. No problem. And the last one, how did Ben, the writer of this text is Ben, how did Ben feel about the city and the Colosseum? Mm. So did he like it or how did he feel? Can you ask again? Uh -huh. How did he feel about the city and the Colosseum? Mm, he think it's an amazing place. Uh -huh. So it means that most probably he's happy, right? He thinks it's an amazing place. That's why he must be happy in the end. Okay, that was it, Laura. I think you did a great job, like awesome job. So I will give you feedbacks later on next class. We have like some small mistakes, but it's not so important. It was really great. I love you so much. You're so good. See you. Thank Good you. luck with your Bye. classes. Bye-bye. <laughs>